and Sunday. That never gets old to look at, does it? Nope. The walk off home run against Jonathan Papelbon. And the man of that hour joins us from the Braves dugout on the first base side. Chipper was showing the video of you walking into the locker room, the big cheer your teammates gave you. What a thrill, huh? Yeah. Um, did they show Medlin? <laughs> did they show Medlin? Uh, Medlin came out in his birthday suit and gave me a hug. Did he? That was <laughs> How awful, nice. Awfully nice of him. Wow, what a highlight. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got to ask you because this is, uh, as Joe said, kind of epidemic proportions. The runners in scoring position thing we're going through right now. I don't know, man. It's uh, it's frustrating, you know, as as hitters, obviously, to go through it. But uh, you know, I see guys pressing a little bit. Obviously, uh, B Mac and and Uggs are they've been pressing for quite some time, not just in those situations, but. Uh, you know, Tracy's doing a, a good job of managing over there. He's brought in the lefty. I'm mean, tell you what, it's been, it's been tough this series against the Rockies because you know they're they're not letting their pitchers go. You know, it's like a spring training game. We face a guy, we face a guy, you know, the starter twice, and then we see a bunch of different guys from then on out, and it's kind of hard to to get a gauge on a guy, you know, two, three, four times, you know, through. So. He's keeping it close. We'll, we'll we'll break through here in a minute, hopefully. Chipper, I said at the beginning of the ball game, sometimes when the team goes through stretches like this, if you put some guys in motion, uh, hit and run or whatever, it causes guys to change their approach a little bit, shorten their swings up, and suddenly some things start opening up. Do you agree or disagree with that? It depends on personnel. It depends, you know. I mean, the guys at the top of the lineup. I think you can do that with, but uh, you know, we tend to strike out a little too much down, you know, in the middle and the end of the of the uh, lineup. And uh, you know, this kid behind the plate throwing out a couple guys already. This uh, last thing we want to do when we're struggling is run ourselves out of an inning. We want to give ourselves a chance to to hit one in the gap and see some guys run around the bases. And, you know, we've had a couple opportunities the last couple of innings. I think we left the bases loaded the last two innings, and uh, but I still think uh, we got enough good hitters on this ball club. We keep giving ourselves opportunities. Somebody's going to gap one here pretty soon. And if Colorado keeps giving you runs, you're certainly happy to take. Do you ever see a game uh, in the major leagues a play like Chassin's where a run scored, where a pitcher dropped the ball from the catcher? Uh, well, I saw John Rocker balk off. Uh, that was kind of the same thing. That was uh, kind of embarrassing, but uh, anyway, um, no, <laughs> I haven't. Um, you know, I, we've been very lucky uh, this series, to be honest with you. I thought, uh, obviously, Medlin dominated game one. Uh, I thought we swung the bats well in game two, and, and Tommy pitched well in game two. Uh, we just, you know, we, we couldn't get the big hit at the big time. Yesterday, I was really disappointed with the way we played. We ended up winning one nothing. And, um, you know, it just seems like, uh, you know, we've gone through this little streak here, you know, at the end of August and beginning of September, the last couple of years where some guys have hit the wall all at the same time. It's, it's not uncommon that people hit the wall, mm -hmm. especially when you got some young guys. Um, but to have everybody kind of kind of have the slow bat and, and, and struggle at the plate at the same time is, is not that common. Will and Rosario is the catcher. And bounces one foul pass first. Speaking of young guys, it looks like you're going to get some reinforcements coming uh, perhaps this weekend. Sounds like Andrelton Simmons is progressing well in his rehab. That would certainly help your offense. And not taking nothing away from Paul Janish, uh, Andrelton's pretty good with the glove, too. Paulie's been, Paulie's been great. He's done everything we've asked for him. We knew, you know, whatever we got out of Paulie um, offensively was going to be a bonus. Um, he's gotten some big hits for us. Uh, don't get me wrong, but, man, he's he's... Raphael Belliardish esque, whatever, however you want to put it, uh, out there at shortstop. If it hits his glove, you're out. And um, it's been a pleasure to uh, to play next to him. But yeah, getting Andrelton back and having that dual threat, the guy who's gonna, you know, cover a lot of ground and and, and got the bullet arm and and be able to help us on offense. That's certainly uh, another notch in our belt. No no balls and a strike for Rosario. 
And he pops one up in a shallow center field. Michael Bourne's got it. And that'll retire the side. Chipper, as always, we appreciate the time. I know you're looking forward to your final visit to New York where the fans will serenade you, I'm sure, tomorrow. <laughs> With something. <laughs>